Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good morning to everyone So, welcome back to our class Okay, so for today's class We're going to look into a new chapter Which is chapter 6 Three-dimensional geogra- geometrical shapes Okay, so in this chapter There are four parts Okay, which is the first part is 6.1 Geometric properties of three-dimensional shapes Second part is 6.2 nets of three dimensional shapes. The third part is 6.3 surface area of three dimensional shape. And the last part is 6.4 volume of three dimensional shapes. Okay, and this is uh, some of word links that you need to know for this chapter. Okay, so let's look at the first learning standard for today. Okay. So the first learning standard is compare, contrast, and classify three-dimensional shapes including prism, pyramid, cylinders, cones, and sphere. And hence, describe the geometric properties of prism, pyramid, cylinders, cone, and sphere. Okay, so let's look at the first Subtopic 6.1 The geometric properties of three-dimensional shapes Okay The table below shows three-dimensional shapes And their characteristic Okay, let's look at the first one Okay Let's look properly at this shape Okay So basically this is what we call prisma Okay, prism Okay Where we have something that we call base Okay Base ni macam tapak lah Okay, base Okay So, let's look at the characteristic Okay Two flat bases that are polygons Which are congruent and parallel Okay So, by now I think you already know What is congruent and parallel means Okay So, the flat rectangular shape sides Okay And then uniform cross section Okay What does it mean by uniform cross section? Okay, maksud dia bila contohlah Awak potong Shape itu Okay, dia akan memberi bentuk yang sama Okay, sebagai contoh For example, this shape Okay, we have the base Is in triangle shape Okay, maksud dia kalau potong Potong, potong, potong Dia tetap akan memberi bentuk Segitiga Okay, hasil potongan itu tadi Kita namakan cross section Uniform adalah sama Okay so next let's look at the second shape okay this is what we call pyramid okay so in pyramid okay we have base and we have apex okay apex ni sebenarnya adalah dia punya puncak okay so let's look at the characteristic okay so pyramid uh, actually have one flat base that is polygon shape any polygon okay uh, it can be square, it can be uh, pentagon, it can be hexagon, okay, anything. Okay, then the other sides are triangular shape that meets at the apex. Okay, uh, maksud dia, uh, bahagian sisi dia berbentuk segitiga dan bercantum di puncak. Okay, so next one is cylinder. Okay, this is cylinder. Okay, where we know that cylinder have two flat base. Okay, with the shape of circle. Okay, so let's look at the characteristic. Okay, two circular bases which are congruent and parallel. One curved surface. Okay, what does it mean by this one curved surface? Okay, maksudnya dia ada satu perbukaan lengkung di sini. Okay, saya rasa semua familiar dengan bentuk ini Contoh macam tabung air kan Okay uh, Dia ada dua uh, Bentuk bulatan bawah dan atas Dan satu permukaan melengkung di tengah Okay Next, let's have a look at cone Okay Cone, uh, we have one base and one apex okay so for this example okay one circular base one apex one curved surface that merge the base and the apex 
Okay So kita ada satu base Berbentuk bulatan Dan kita ada satu Sisi melengkung yang Bercantum di apex puncaknya Okay Next the last one is spear Okay spear is uh, Sfera Okay where we have one center of spear Okay where all points on the surface Are equidistant from the center of the spear And one curved surface Okay maksud uh, ini adalah Okay kita ada Satu point di sini Okay when we have um, Kalau kita nak kira jarak uh, Awak dah belajar circle kan Okay contoh we have radius From over here to over here uh, Every radius are The same Line Okay Okay Okay, next, let's have a look at this uh, self-practice 6.1. Okay. List the geometrical characteristic for the three-dimensional object below. Okay. So, for this part, okay, I will help you to uh, determine what is the shape uh, name. And then you can refer back to the notes before okay to write down all the geometrical characteristic okay so let's have a look at the first uh, picture okay we have a hat okay party hat okay which is in the shape of cone okay okay so for the characteristic uh you can refer back to the table previous previous table okay Okay, so next B, okay, we have a dice over here. We know that a dice is in the shape of prism. Okay, we know that uh, it is uh, in the shape of cube, okay, but we can uh, generalize it as a prism. Okay, next, the third one, we have a tent. Okay, we know this is a 10. A 10 is in the shape of pyramid. Okay. And the last one, we have a tin. Okay. This tin is uh, in the shape of a cylinder. Okay. Okay. So that's it for the first subtopic 6.1. Okay. So if uh, you have any question, you can just ask me. Okay. Okay. This is uh, sorry for the first question. Okay. Second question. Okay. List the three dimensional shape that has geometrical characteristic as stated below. Okay. So this one, I want you uh, to do it as your uh, assignment. Okay. So this is the first one. Okay. Let's move to the next learning standard. Okay, so uh, for subtopic 6.2, nets of three-dimensional shapes. Okay, so the learning standard is analyze various nets, including pyramids, prisms, cylinders, and cones, and hence draw nets and build models. Okay, so actually what is nets? Okay, net in Malay is bentangan. Okay, where you have uh, one shape and you bentangkan the shape. Okay, for example, awak ada kotak tisu. Okay, awak ada kotak tisu kan, awak buka kotak tisu tu. Uh, macam mana bentuk dia sebelum dia menjadi satu geometrical shape. Okay, so for this uh, net, uh, you need to memorize all of it. Okay. So, for the first geometrical shape, we have cylinder. Okay, this is in the form of cylinder. Okay, so what does it look when we open the shape? Okay, in the form of net. Uh, macam ni lah bentuk dia. Okay, uh, bila awak buka bentuk cylinder, awak akan dapat bentuk macam ni. This is the form. Okay. Okay, next, we have cone. Okay. Where we have S length of slant over there. Okay, so when you open this uh, cone, okay, in the net form, this is what it looks like. Okay, can I follow? Okay, next we have a pyramid. Pyramid with a square base. Did uh, uh, 
in form this in the square base pyramid okay so when the square base pyramid okay kita buka dia kita akan dapat net seperti ini okay nampak tak tadi sini tadi dia dah uh, labelkan sebagai slant s bila kita buka s dia akan jadi macam nilah uh, okay okay and the last one we have triangular base prism okay so yang ini bila kita buka kita akan dapat net seperti ini okay Okay, now let's look at example one. Okay, example one. Okay, the first shape. This is what shape? Okay, this is actually a shape of a cone. Okay, so what is its net? Okay, so kita cuba lukis. Okay, so net dia bila kita lukis, okay, kita tahu. Okay, dia mesti ada bentuk ada mulut macam Pac-Man ok and then kita ada satu bulatan iaitu tapak dia ok ok the second shape ok this is actually a pyramid ok a pyramid with a triangle base ok kalau tadi dalam uh, contoh sebelum ni ok dia bagi a pyramid with a square base shape ok bentuk dia macam ni ok tapi how uh, how about this uh, example okay we have a pyramid with triangular shape of base okay lagi senang okay so kita lukis dulu dia punya base okay this is the base okay and then this is the sides uh, okay okay and then C okay C we have a prisma okay so for this prisma okay how will the net look like okay so uh, tips paling mudah okay we look at the base first okay the base kan okay so kita lukis dulu base dia segi empat okay next saya padam balik okay cuba tengok bahagian sini ini di tepi dia kan uh, berbentuk trapezium ok so we draw a trapezium on the sides ok ok so we know that this trapezium is uh, on the left and the right side ok so kita lukis pada dua-dua bahagian ok next saya padam balik ok tengok di tepi dia pula ok tepi sini kita ada satu bentuk segi empat ok so kita lukis bentuk segi empat di depan ok dan di belakang dia pun satu bentuk segi empat so kita lukis satu bentuk segi empat so uh, this is the net for this geometrical shapes ok ok now ok so uh, For self practice six point two, okay, I want you to try A, B, C, D, okay, all of it, and then question number two, okay, build an actual model, okay, I want you to um, pick which one you prefer. I think I want you to try to B and to C lah okay to B and to C okay what you do for this uh, second question okay you draw this net with actual measurement okay on a piece of paper okay and then okay you build the model okay so masa dia awak lukis dua bentuk ini dengan ukuran yang sebenar di atas sehelai kertas okay kemudian saya nak awak bina model tersebut okay awak potong bina model okay kemudian awak tangkap gambar hantar pada saya dalam whatsapp group okay 
So I will give marks for whoever try this second question. Okay. So I think that's all for today's class. Okay, quite simple. Uh, we covered two subtopics, six point one and six point two. Okay, geometric properties of three-dimensional shapes and nets of three-dimensional shapes. Okay, for next class, we are going to look into the last two subtopic, which is surface area of three-dimensional shapes and volume of three-dimensional shapes. Okay, it, this two subtopic is for uh, class Rekamis. Okay, so if you have any problem, uh, anything that you don't understand, don't hesitate to message me. Ask me in the comment down below or in our WhatsApp group. Okay. So thank you very much. See you next class. Okay, bye.